Hello and welcome to Connexio Corporate Explorer where we explore the world of business and innovation with industry leaders. I'm your host Namrata and today we are featuring C2C Advanced Systems Limited, one of the leading providers of customized softwares and engineered systems in the defense, security and aerospace industries. With over two decades of promoters expertise, C2C specializes in re-engineering and retrofitting solutions offering command and control platforms for defense applications. Their strengths in system integration, software development and testing are showcased by the successful delivery of combat management system to the Royal Malaysian Navy. Driven by a highly experienced management team, C2C continues to deliver cutting edge solutions for the defense industry. Let's dive into the world of C2C and discover what sets them apart. In this conversation, we have with us Commander Narendra, Chief Operations Officer at C2C Advanced System Limited. Welcome to the program, sir. Thank you very much. And we have with us Commander Ramesh, the whole time director and Chief Technical Officer at C2C Advanced Systems Limited. Very warm welcome, sir. So, Commander Narendra, my first question to you is, can you provide an overview of C2C Advanced Systems and its key offerings in the defense, aerospace and industrial sectors? Yeah, uh, C2C Advanced yeah. Systems works with both private industry and the defense industry. In the defense industry, we work with Indian Army, Indian Air Force and the Indian Navy. As far as our solutions for the defense are concerned, they are wide range of solutions which include combat management system, integrated platform management system and integrated bridge systems. We also offer bespoke solutions as far as the Indian Army is concerned. That's fascinating. Thank you so much sir for the insights. So now let's discuss what's driving C2C's growth. So Commander Ramesh, my question to you is, what are the key growth strategies driving C2C's expansion, particularly in defense and security technology? Okay. So basically, you know, after having delivered the combat management system, uh, we have actually developed the expertise of developing a complete command and control system. So what we want to do now is that once having delivered to the Navy, we want to leverage that particular uh, competency and look at how we can enter the foray of command and control systems for the Army and the Air Force systems. Another key strategy that we have is to partner with other companies which operate in the defense domain and then provide jointly solutions which are basically addressing the Indian market as well as the overseas market. Great strategy, sir. It's clear that innovation is at the heart of your expansion. So, Commander Narendra, my next question to you is, with the Indian government focusing on defense production and self-reliance, how is C2C positioned to capitalize on these opportunities? Okay, one of the most important things that you need to understand is that C2C advanced systems designs, develops systems indigenously. Everything that is made is made in-house here. And this very well aligns with the government's policy of make in India. So we are, we are very well poised in the Indian defense market as on date. That's a strategic move, sir. Aligning with India's vision for self-reliance. That's great. Thank you so much. Thank you. So moving ahead, my question is for you, sir. What are the key international markets C2C is targeting? And how does the company plan to expand its global footprint? Okay. Uh, with our experience in the Malaysian market where we actually competed with big defense companies and our experience of successfully delivering a complete combat management systems to the Malaysian Navy, uh, we have gathered a lot of confidence and we are very sure at this point of time that we can deliver large scale software systems to in-house and other countries as well. Having brought out that, one of the advantages in doing that is that we have been able to provide a system that is low cost operationally to that country and presently we are look, having the success in uh, Malaysian market, presently we are looking at uh, opening our uh, markets in the Middle East and also the African nations. Interesting. Expanding globally can indeed bring so many opportunities. Yeah, that's for sure. Commander Ramesh, my question is for you. 
How is the defense and aerospace industry evolving with the advent of technologies like AI, machine learning and automation and how is C2C incorporating these technologies into its solutions? Okay, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so basically, you know, if you look at uh, the present uh, day hostilities that are actually happening, uh, we will realize that, you know, this advent of AI and ML and the insertion of AI and ML into the warfight warfighting capabilities has really changed the, uh, you know, landscape of war. So we fully realize that AI and ML is going to be an important constituent of the command and control systems that we develop in future. Having said that, we have taken steps to build a very competent AI and ML team within the company and our aim is to address all the specific use cases related to the defense using this AI ML team. Okay, it's great to see how technology is driving industry change and C2C sure seems to be on top of it. So my next question to you sir is, what trends do you see in the Indian defense sector and how does C2C advanced systems plan to adapt to these changes? Yeah, actually there are a lot of important trends that are happening in the Indian defense industry today. I think uh, maybe the foremost of that will be the you know, reliance towards self-development, uh, that is to say self-reliance in that particular sense. All the Make in India campaign and all these things are basically yes. aimed towards that. The other important trend that we are actually seeing is that the government is also encouraging a lot of participation from the private sector in building uh, defense systems. And uh, the other trend, what we are actually seeing not only in India but across the globe is that uh, systems are becoming more and more software intensive systems and the importance on hardware is actually diminishing and the importance of software is actually increasing. So if you look at all these trends, we are rightly poised to ride this particular uh, trend wave because uh, we have uh, capabilities with respect to software development. We are an indigenous developer as well as, you know, as a private player, we would also like to have a, a piece of the pie. Insightful. It's clear that C2C is well positioned to stay ahead of the curve. Moving ahead, C2C's experience center in Bengaluru offers a real-time environment for clients. Can you walk us through the key features and benefits of this center? Yes, I think we should just walk into the experience sure. center. So what you are seeing here is actually the combat management systems experience center that we have produced here. So what you will see here is that there are a large number of consoles and you will say, find that the lighting itself is a sort of a red lighting yes. which actually simulates the actual lighting as used on board the ships. And all these uh, designs of these uh, screens are fundamentally made based on this particular red lighting concept. Along with that, you also have uh, various uh, consoles which are performing various operations. And each of these operations, you will basically find that there are various types of operators who actually carry out these operations. Here in this corner, you also have a simulator which is basically used for generating real-time data so that you can have a simulated environment. And you also have here a central server system which is basically the central repository where all the algorithms and computations right. actually take. What we have here is basically a drone command and control system. This drone con command and control system is a very unique system in the sense that it is a command center or a central area where you can actually control a large number of drones. And what actually happens here is that you have a large number of drone manufacturers. But all those uh, drone manufacturers manufacture software which is actually bespoke or standalone. But for combat operations, you need to integrate the car drone systems into the combat management systems or the command and control systems. That is where this particular drone command and control system comes in. This drone command and control system we have already integrated within the combat management system of the Navy and we are also delivering this as part of the battlefield management system which is for the Army. So that, that is that is what is uh, the speciality of this particular drone command and control system. That's great, sir. Thank you so much for the tour and sounds like an excellent plan for the clients. So, Ramesh, sir, you have delivered innovative solutions like the combat management system to the Royal Malaysian Navy. So, how does C2C plan to leverage these successes for future growth? Okay. So, basically, you know, the confidence that we have generated 
uh, out of delivering a combat management system for a complete ship has actually uh, you know resulted in two things one is that you know we have the confidence that we will be able to deliver a real time system of this complexity and the second is that our credibility in the market has also been established by having delivered a system like this so moving forward what we want to do is to leverage on this particular uh, success that we have had and then use this as a springboard for developing combat management systems not only for india but also for other countries and also move into other command and control systems which are akin to the naval combat management systems impressive building on such successes is a huge approach moving towards the next question so sir you have plans to expand your experience center model internationally starting from dubai so what impact do you foresee this having on c2c's global business okay <clears throat> as you have already visited the experience center and seen the experience center what you have to realize is seeing is believing most of the customers when they see a particular equipment they actually realize that it has really been implemented and it's a working solution so this experience center if we shift towards dubai and other markets we see that the customers who are there in the european countries and the middle eastern countries will actually get the experience of the systems and this will help us to internationalize the systems that we have already developed this sounds like a big step forward in your global journey yeah it's for sure so let's move ahead commander ramesh as we are in defense the security is utmost important so my question to you is how secured is our systems and what security protocols are followed yeah i think that's a very very important question that you are asking yes because uh, that i think is a bread and butter as far as uh, a company is concerned correct so when we talk about security there are various layers of security i mean we can start with the very basic things like you know access control security and things like that another is the security layer that we built as far as the development is concerned the next is the security layer that we have while deploying this particular software and obviously the most i mean uh, relevant thing is also the cyber security where we are talking about uh, the software not being uh, able to be penetrated or being accessed from outside so we have a well laid out system for all these uh, layers that i'm talking about as far as access protocol is concerned we are a very very strict company with respect to access controls as far as software development we have a very elaborate software development process and that software development process ensures that security is built into every single uh, layer of development that we are talking about as far as deployment is concerned we do that in close consultation with the clients because most of these things are deployed at the customers premises and we ensure that you know our software does not uh, lead to any security problems with respect to the deployments that we are actually talking about okay thank you sir thank you for explaining all the points now we have with us mr murtaza ali sumar the whole time director and chief financial officer of c2c advanced systems limited and my question to you sir is c2c's financial performance has seen impressive growth in recent years can you highlight some of the key financial milestones and what has driven this success c2c in the recent years has started doing very well particularly post covid because of the development of various products that we have developed the 22 23 financial year was a breakthrough year for us because it was the first year where after covid where we got some amount of decent revenues and could make a good profit we clocked about 8.04 crores of top line and 2 and a half crores of bottom line In the following year which was a very impressive year for us we clocked about 42 crores of net uh, of uh, sales and uh, 12 and a half crores of net profit this financial year 23 24 25 we've already in the first half done about 43 crores of sales with a, a, a net profit of about 11 crores approximate numbers i attribute this to uh, mainly because we we are a product oriented company and our net margins are quite high because of that and we do bespoke solutions which no one else can do and this give, gives us a very uh, monopolistic uh, uh, product products where we make uh, extra margins and uh, 
other than that we have no debt in our balance sheets we we don't borrow any money and uh, we're running uh, a very tight ship well that's really impressive growth thank you so much moving towards the next question how have your revenues and profitability improved particularly with the shift in your business model towards high value defense contract our focus has been on developing various products we have been able to over a period of last 6 years since the inception of this company our primary focus has been on developing cutting edge products bespoke solutions some of the products that we have been able to make which very few companies in the world make is a combat management system uh, integrated platform management system bridge control system command and control system to name a few other than that we also have a ship stability and uh, damage control software so these with the help of these products we have been able to in- improve our revenues and our bottom line since very few people make these products our bottom line will always be high we will always work in excess of 30 40% that's great it's great to hear how this shift has paid off so with c2c now preparing for an ipo what is the rationale behind going public and what are the company's goals post ipo why we are going public is very simple the rationale is very simple that we want further growth and there are huge orders in the defense industry for us to be able to achieve that in defense because as everyone knows that defense in what we do which is cutting edge and uh, this kind of products have a very long gestation period to achieve all the needs of working capital and for further growth i think that it was paramount that we went public and got enough money and going forward the goal to increase further and maybe look at other avenues is to develop newer products other than the products that i've mentioned we're trying to create more products which will get us additional revenue and for future which will fuel for, uh, further growth in the defense industry both internationally and domestically makes sense an ipo can open up new opportunities and avenues for growth what do you see as your key competitive advantages that differentiate you in the defense and aerospace technology market what sets us apart from the rest of our competition is that we have deep domain knowledge both on land air and water and underwater we are able to take uh, data from sensors and wherever it comes from and able to uh, analyze it in nanoseconds and integrate it with whatever system that is provided and these are all bespoke uh, products that we have developed within this framework and going forward we are developing further products which will be cutting edge and maybe very few companies in the world will be able to compete with us well that's a strong set of competitive advantages thank you finally looking ahead where do you see c2c advanced systems in the next 5 years and what are the company's long term goals okay so as i said since we are a innovation driven company our focus is primarily going to be on various products we'll try and develop more products than the list that i've already mentioned to you other than that our focus is going to be on getting key personnel involved who understand who have a even deeper domain knowledge in defense we would uh, hope to achieve a cagr year on year of at least 200% for the next 5 years going forward this i believe will primarily be from revenue from defense both nationally and internationally other than this we would also like to get into industry 4.0 uh, machine learning ai ml artificial intelligence and machine learning and uh, we we already in the domain of cyber security which is an integral part of all our defense equipment but we'd like to develop some products around cyber security as well it sounds like c2c has a bold and exciting vision for the future thank you so much for sharing your insights it's been great learning about c2c's journey and future plans thank you and that's a wrap for today's episode of connexio corporate explorer we hope you enjoyed exploring the incredible journey of c2c advanced system and gain insight into their growth innovation and technological excellence that drive their success thank you for joining us don't forget to like share and subscribe to connexio network youtube channel for more insightful content see you next time